Public attention is likely focused on how taxes and government policies impact everyday people, particularly small business owners. The experiences of salon owners highlight the struggles faced by small businesses nationwide, raising concerns about the fairness and effectiveness of current tax policies. For those who prioritize fundamental values, this situation reinforces the belief that government overreach is stifling small businesses, signaling a need for leadership change to better protect the interests of these entrepreneurs. It underscores the importance of individual autonomy and the need to resist oppressive systems that hinder personal freedom and success. So we're gonna take a guess. Who can guess within the last three years how much I have had to pay um, payroll taxes to just be able to pay you guys, which is all worth it, but this is what I'm going to do. How much do you think I've paid in payroll taxes? It's just a tax that I pay to pay you guys. If that makes sense. In three years. Um, in the last three years. Oh, three years. In the last three I'm going to say 60,000. I could 80,000. I said 100,000. I'm going to go 85. 90. Okay. You want to weigh in, Liana? What? How much do you think in the last three years I've had to pay in payroll taxes? <laughs> okay, are you all ready? No. Really you want to guess? 200. Thousand? Yes. $272,000 to the U.S. government just to pay people that you will also pay your taxes on as well. And then when you go to buy something, you will also be taxed on the item that you are purchasing. I feel awful. No, don't no, 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 it's, it's, I'm actually, I'm, I'm you're gonna go. also yeah. in, and then you get paid and then your paycheck's half of that because you're also paying taxes. And then when you go to purchase something, so you pay, you'll be paying taxes. And you pay for the same thing. The US dollar is taxed taxed one million times before it even ends up in some way. So, we used to like go to war for taxing. No now taxation without oh representation. God. I can't oh have that. Yep, me too. No wonder. Anyway, yeah. love you all. Oh the challenges described by the salon owner illustrate how excessive government intervention and taxation can suppress small and medium-sized enterprises (SMEs). The public often advocates for lower taxes and fewer regulations to promote economic freedom and entrepreneurship. The owner's frustration over paying $272,000 in payroll taxes over three years serves as a stark example of the burdensome nature of current tax policies which many argue stifles the growth and sustainability of SMEs, the backbone of the U.S. economy. Discussions around unrepresentative taxes resonate with conservative values, emphasizing the need for citizens to have a direct say in how their taxes are spent, and fostering a desire for a more responsible and transparent government.